If there's one thing about Texas that holds true is that we love our pickup trucks as much as we love our steaks. But there's one particular truck that has captivated the landscape of truck owners, and that's the King Ranch Edition trucks. So take out your pens and pencils because we're going to deep dive into the history of the Ford King Ranch. <laughs> Our story starts in 1852 with a steamboat captain by the name of Richard King. King was traveling north from Brownsville, Texas to attend the Lone Star Fair on horseback when he caught sight of the Santa Gertrudis Creek, which is 124 miles away from the Rio Grande. He was so impressed with the land that when he arrived at the fair, he and a friend by the name of Captain Gideon K. Legs Lewis agreed to make it into a ranch. Now the original 15,500 acres of land was a Mexican land grant known as the Rincón de Santa Gertrudis. Over time, the ranch grew to 1.2 million acres. Now that's a whole lot of land. Kind of like Dutton Ranch, but like the real thing. Although the ranch sits on the edge of Kingsville, the town didn't exist until after Richard King's <clears throat> death. Robert Clayburgh was Richard King's son-in-law and succeeded King's death. In 1904, Claybrook convinced the railroad to lay tracks through the ranch and Kingsville was established. Go Brahmas. I don't even know if that's her logo. Now, one of the most iconic features on King Ranch trucks has always been the running W brand logo. Naturally, we would think that this was always a logo for King Ranch, except it wasn't. In fact, King Ranch didn't start using the running W until the 1860s. Now, brands originated to prove cattle ownership and to deter cattle rustling or the act of stealing cattle. Stealing cows, baby. Because of this, Richard King began to develop brands. The first brand honored his wife, Henrietta King, which was the HK brand. Months later, he designed the Era Flecha, or R Arrow, along with the connected LK, for cattle he owned with Gideon Lewis, his first partner, aka Legs. I wonder why they called them legs. I didn't look that up. <laughs> hey, yo, legs. What's up, everybody? <laughs> in 1868, the famous running W was finally born when King and Mifflin Kennedy, longtime steamboating and ranch partner of King's, decided to split up their holdings so they needed to create new branding. One of the many wonders of the world, aside from the current seven, is where the running W originated. Some say it represents a diamondback rattlesnake because of all the rattlesnakes on the ranch. Others say it's the sweeping horns of a Texas longhorn bull. But whatever the meaning, the brand has withstood the test of time and has evolved to represent uncompromising quality and authenticity. Today, the Running W appears on prize-winning cattle, top quality leather goods, and, come on, on the best Ford trucks. Okay, so how does all of this tie in with Ford trucks. The partnership between Ford and King Ranch actually started in 1999. King Ranch chairman Jamie Clement once said, King Ranch is built on the heritage, hard work, and innovation of seven generations of King family descendants and employees, just like what Ford has built into its F-Series pickup trucks. Ford's marketing department started leveraging the name King Ranch on the 2001 F-150 Super Crew, which was the industry's first full-size pickup with four full-size doors and full-size rear passenger seats. Ford kneeled into the ranch lifestyle with designing the truck for the first time. The 2001 King Ranch came fully loaded with dark brown saddle leather seats and the seat back pockets even had little flaps like saddlebags. In 2003, the Ford F-250 received the King Ranch treatment and the Ford Expedition received it in 2005. Over 40% of King Ranch trim level trucks are actually sold in Texas. 40%, that's literally almost half. 40% of all King Ranch trucks are sold in Texas. That is literally a true testament of how much Texans love their Ford trucks. Ford trucks and King Ranch both represent hard work and a can-do attitude. It's no wonder the King Ranch series is so iconic. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's video. As always, thank you for watching this video and everything else we put out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything and let us know in the comments below what you want to see next or hear us talk about next. Until next time, peace out.